It should ever amaze us how meek and humble our God is. As we enter into these Holy Week's uh, celebrations, especially the Triduum, uh, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and the Easter Vigil on, on Saturday evening, I invite you to witness how humble our God is. And on uh, Holy Thursday evening, when he celebrates the Eucharist for the first time with his disciples gathered around him, the exact same thing that we do at every Catholic Mass, Jesus gathers around an altar like this one here in Sublet, and he celebrates the Eucharist, breaks the bread for us. But how humble for you, Jesus was before he even broke that bread that he washed the disciples' feet. And so you'll see out at Maytown's Church of the Last Supper on Holy Thursday evening at 7 p.m. we'll be at St. Patrick's Church and we'll invite uh, 12 men to come forward and to have their feet washed by their priest. How humble Jesus is that he would wash the feet of the disciples. And then we watch him as he breaks the bread and go, we go in procession with him to the uh, Garden of Gethsemane. And we watch how Jesus accepts the full will of his Father, just like we're supposed to do in our vocations, accepting the full will of God and living out our vocations. And then on Good Friday, we'll have our liturgy here in Sublette. It'll be at 1 p.m. and we'll have the veneration of the cross. And so there's not a, a procession per, per se in that liturgy of Good Friday. Remember, it's not a mass. It's uh, the only day in the church calendar, the only day of the year that we don't actually celebrate the Eucharist. So the Holy Communion that we receive on Good Friday that will have been consecrated uh, out at Maytown's Church of St. Patrick's when we do the uh, Mass and Lord's Supper, that uh, those hosts will be taken in procession to Sublet and then distributed at uh, Holy Communion after the veneration of the cross. But you'll notice there is a slow, slow procession of our Lord where uh, the cross is brought forward and three places it stopped in our nave of our church before we entered the, the sanctuary and I put the uh, cross at the foot of the altar for the souls to come forward and to venerate. And so again, that number three sh is showing up again and again uh, in our, th our theology of the Catholic faith. Our Lord fell three times on the way to Calvary and there's those three members of the Trinity. And so we're uh, invited to adore the cross as it's unveiled those three times on Good Friday as it's brought in procession through the nave of the church to the uh, altar for our veneration. And then of course, we wait with our Blessed Mother, Our Lady Perpetual Help and St. Mary the Assumption. We bring it on Good Friday with all hope that after three days, Jesus will rise uh, from the dead. And we celebrate that uh, Easter Vigil Mass where we consecrate or we bless those three Easter candles, one for each of our parishes. That Easter Vigil Mass will be uh, at 8 p.m. because it has to be after sunset because we have uh, the uh, lighting of the Easter fire. And then from that Easter fire, after those candles are blessed and consecrated, each one is lit from the Easter fire and will be brought to our each of those churches. But that Mass will be at 8 o'clock at St. Uh, Mary the Assumption Church in West Brooklyn. And then will be our Easter Vigil Mass where we have the uh, Lucenaria and the, uh, and the uh, uh, proclamation of the Easter Exalted. So we'll sing those, that song to the Easter candle, uh, the light of Christ coming to our church in St. Mary's the Assumption. And then uh, we'll be in the dark for the four readings, or I think three readings we're using this year, and then the uh, epistle from St. Paul, and then finally the Easter Gospel, where we're finally able to say the uh, great Gospel acclamation again. We have been heard for 40 days now that we've been in the Lenten season. But uh, we'll have uh, hopefully two uh, baptisms at that Easter Vigil Mass. So uh, two members of the faith born uh, again with uh, uh, original sin taken away from them in the waters of baptism. And then we'll uh, celebrate our great Easter liturgies uh, starting with the Easter Vigil Mass and then on uh, Easter itself, Sunday, we'll have the 8 o'clock Mass in Maytown and the 10 o'clock Mass uh, here in Sublette. And then we'll begin that uh, Easter octet, so that eight Masses, eight, the next, for the eight, next eight days from Holy Saturday evening to next Sunday, Divine Mercy Sunday, uh, each one of those days is, is seen as Easter, so it's one long day that's prolonged uh, 24 hours, seven times 24 hours, it's prolonged. 
So I look forward to uh, celebrating this Easter season with you, having gone into the desert with you for Lent and using those spiritual weapons of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving to conquer our personal vices and sins and to ask of Jesus to send the angel of humility to find us and to bring us out of the desert into the glorious new life of Easter. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ to celebrate these Holy Week liturgies of the Trinity. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.